Hello, everybody. I live in LA now, almost 30 years. Yeah, but I'm originally from Sri Lanka. My friends are here. Hey. Um, how's everyone doing? Good, good. So, um, where was I? No notes today. So, here goes, here goes. Um, happy birthday to all the Leos in the house. Marvin, Carlos, <laughs> and everybody else who will use. Um, so I've been doing um, stand-up for a little while. And when I started, I was told that, you know, i got to be careful not to fuck up too bad because people can throw stuff at you on stage, like tomatoes, drinks, shoes. But if you do throw shoes, I'm Italian, size 36 and a half. I love Gucci. <laughs> You can throw red bottoms, but not stilettos, because I can't walk in them. And uh, I love chanclas, fancy chanclas. Yeah, probably because Sri Lanka is an island, and islanders wear chanclas everywhere, in the rain, in the sun, in the snow. Yeah, we wear slippers, chanclas, slippers everywhere. Anyway, um, so I'm Asian. Being from Sri Lanka, I'm Southeast Asian. And being Asian, you can only be one of three things. A doctor, a lawyer, or a complete disappointment. <laughs> yeah. So being that my, my sister's a doctor, and I'm a complete disappointment, my, my parents still talk about how much they wanted a son. So the, oh, I know. <laughs> so um, all I could do was dress like a boy and own a construction company. But now they think I'm a lesbian. So you can't, you can't win with Asian parents. You know, <laughs> such a struggle. If you get 95% in a test, you get grounded for missing the 5%. Yeah, it's bad. Um, so talking about my sister, she's an adrenaline junkie. She loves to do crazy stuff. And she likes to take me with her, like skydiving in Dubai, Whitewater rafting in Vietnam, Walmart on Black Friday, yeah. <laughs> but this weekend, she met her match, the cold plunge <laughs> at the gym. Yeah, it was a cold plunge, and everybody was doing it, and she's like, let's do it. She lasted like three seconds. <laughs> so did I, because we are brown Asians, and we hate cold. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. So, um, so my sister is also a, a brain surgeon, and she loves to listen to Metallica while she cuts those heads open. No, she did not take a crash course in brain surgery. Uh, she, she trained for over 15 years to do that. Um, she seeks and destroys um, uh, brain tumors. She's the master of puppets of the nerves. Um, and she makes sure that their memory remains. So move over, Sandman. <laughs> Welcome, uh, enter Dr. Rana Singer. <laughs> yeah. I wish she was here. She's too tired after surgery, so. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm 48 years old, and I usually date younger guys. But, you know, since I'm getting older, I'm like, okay, you know, I should try dating someone older. So I went out with this much older dude we went to this restaurant, and people were like half dead. <laughs> the furniture were covered, was covered with plastic. There were plastic forks. Dessert was pudding. And I was like, you know what? This is the last time I'm dating a 49-year-old. <laughs> no, no. So, um, you know, obviously I'm single. Uh, <laughs> I, I wonder why. I mean, God, it was so much easier to date before uh, when I was younger. Um, but um, why is that? Is it because I have too many degrees? Is it because I can buy my own stuff? Or is it because I have the $3,000 vibrator that no man can compete with? I don't know. I don't know. You know, when you get lonely, you get one of those things. Uh, <laughs> And uh, being single, I do a lot of stuff by myself. I travel the world by myself. I go to concerts by myself. And I have sex by myself. <laughs> ah, so what else was on the list? <laughs> I don't have my notes today, so 
here it goes. <laughs> um, so, so I train at this, well, I go to Spin at this lovely studio in the Valley, Spin Studio. And just like every other gym, we have our own gym weirdos. Um, yeah, so there's this big titty girl up front. She's always late. She runs in with her inhaler, <laughs> sits front and center, and spins like a freaking hamster in a wheel. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Um, then there's this lady with way too much Botox and filler that I don't think she can even breathe because she's always like... <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't even know if she's enjoying class because, I mean... She can't move her face, and she's con she looks constantly constipated. <laughs> uh, I, I feel bad. But, you know, at least her face is straight, you know? Um, <laughs> you might know her. <laughs> you know. We spin together. <laughs> um, and then this little girl in the back. She spins with her hair over her face. And it's really weird, because who does that? Um, and she doesn't talk to anybody. She mumbles to herself. And she leaves before everybody else. And I swear she crawl out, crawled out of a well. Yeah, Samara from The Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Looks just like her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm out of time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm Dinu, by the way.